Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to another episode of Live... Whoa. Live from Magicraft. Did you see that? It's like you could see... Look at that. Look at that. Somebody that made Thomcraft messed up the models. That are... There we go, right there. So Piggy has a nose like an iron golem or a gold golem or something. Look at that. <laughs> I've got golden nostrils. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> so, in last episode, we ended back over here at the house. We made a nice little trek all over this server. Well, not literally all over the server. We'll check the map because the map is awesome. All over the uncovered area of the server. Basically making, what, two or three trips to the overly ambitious tree farm just to set up the miscraft books. And then I think we've spent a fair bit of time right in here drowning and dying over and over and over again. So we're going to try and avoid that today. Um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to get started on the over, overly, overly difficult th thing to say. Where's the book? The book is in the basement. So we must go to the basement. Alright, so here we are, over at the hub. Yep, that's the link to Piggy's basement. And this is where I set that book up. And then this is going to take us over to the Overly Ambitious Tree Farm. We'll go ahead and click on that. Let's hope that this works. It works. Nice. And it there it goes. Okay, it takes a second to load. So right now, this is not too glamorous, right? We don't have too much going on here. Did I bring enough dirt? I sure didn't. Well, I'm going to go ahead and move this out here. I think, what was it? A 5x5 five five wide platform. And for those of you who are watching this being rebroadcast on YouTube right now, you're probably like, Piggy, what are you rambling on about? What do you mean about this 5x5 five five platform? Why are you saying it like we should know what you're talking about? Well, because here's the deal. Right now, I'm talking to a live audience. If you're watching it on YouTube, you're watching a rebroadcast of the show. And so actually what happened tonight was, let's see, is this five? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. And we'll just swap back over here because I have to find something in the hub. And I'll explain to you while we're going. So earlier, before the actual show started, I did a pre-show and I hung out with the audience and we tested out a few different things with some trees and stuff. And so I was telling the audience the size of the tree that it's going to grow. So that, that, there, there's one, wait, pearl, oh, I thought that said Piggles. That doesn't say Piggles. Let's see. So we're looking for Kays' area. This might take a minute looking around, figuring out. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. Nihon, nope. But yeah, that, that will be an incentive, if you get a chance, to come over and watch on Beam. You can hang out live and actually chit-chat with me. Okay, so here's my stuff. Well, where is Kaze's stuff? Maybe I didn't look over here. No. No. Not there. The olive view. There it is. Look at that right there. So let's go ahead and click on that. This will take us over to Kaze's area, which I have never... Or have I seen? Oh, I have seen it. Okay, so this is... Let's bring it up on the map. Oh, and we're indoors, so it's going to look like a bit of a mess. Let's go ahead and... Whoop! Okay, so synchronization is, is having some issues here. Let's go ahead and come out here. And I think I have to be able to... What? What in the world? <gasps> look at that... Look at the particles right there. Okay, I think that's one of those little floaty things. It is. Okay. Wow, I thought I was going crazy for a minute. I'm like, why am I flying? Okay, cool. So here we go. This is a dojo that Kay's built. This thing is really cool. And I like how he used the cherry wood trees. It really fits the theme nice. Let's see here. We'll pull up Journey Map. For some reason, it's still maybe... Oh, because I'm still... It's registering me as being underground or underneath stuff. So let, there we go. So see, here's Kaze's dojo. Over here is Mage Haven. 
and there's the home mage haven where we were just at and then the tree farm is right over here so Kay's told me to check his house somewhere in his house he has saplings for this really awesome cool special tree we're gonna try and grow so we're gonna have to nose around here we're gonna have to root around and see if we can figure out where this stuff is hidden so we'll check in here <gasps> Awesome! That was really easy to find. And I think I'm going to snag two. And I didn't bring anything with me. Is there an ender chest somewhere in here? Let's see. What is this? A void chest. Nope. We do not want to mess around with that. For those of you that don't know what a void chest is, you put something in there and the game deletes it. It's just gone. It's like it helps you throw stuff away instead of... Now where does... Oh, he didn't label the books... Okay, that goes to the Twilight Forest. We do not want to go there. Umbra. Okay, Umbra is the hub. So we do want to come back here. Awesome. And just trying to get my bearings. Where are we? We don't want to go there. Actually, we do want to go there. Because what I did forget was we need bone meal. <gasps> what in the world? Okay, weird synchronization issues. It had me down in the floor for a second. But yeah, we, you know, we have two options. We can wait for the tree to grow naturally, or we can bone meal it. And I think I'm going to bone meal it, because I have no idea how long that stuff is going to take to grow. And let's go ahead and grab some dirt. We'll grab some dirt while we're at that. Over here, over here. Oop, there goes some. We may have to make a run over to Grafoniac's... Nope. That'll work. I was going to say, Grafoniac has a uh, kind of like a mob farm set up. But I think we've got enough. That should be enough right there. Hmm. And I'm contemplating, should I take some of these or leave them? Because I think what we need to do is we need to build the base first. So we'll leave that. We'll come back for those. They'll be safe there for now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the hub click that book. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Just like almost almost instantaneously moving through the world. So we're going to pick the center point right there. And that was a little laggy sounding. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just get us some bone meal here. We're going to swap this out. And let's see. Now here's, here's what I'm worried about. This thing is going to make a humongous tree, which is what I want. But it's just like all the other plants in Minecraft. It's going to grow a slightly random tree. And I've grown some of these off camera in a creative world. And sometimes they grow and they look really great. And sometimes they look a little weird. So I'm just hoping that we get a really good looking tree. So let's see. We're just going to bone meal. And it, it, it kind of just happens. It like, whoa. Look, it's not. Oh, whoa. There it goes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we can't even see it from here. So let's let's see. H for hover. We got that right. Woohoo! And we'll fly up here. Whoa! That turned out to be a really big, nice, balanced-looking tree. Look at that. So the X and Z values is what we're gonna have to figure out, uh, based off the center of the trunk. So that we can figure out what would be the smallest circle we could draw in relation to the center of the tree. And then we're going to expand that a few blocks because, let me see here. I'm just going to go ahead and fly up here and show you. There's something over there. It's like a little bitty island. Do you see that? It's like a little sugarcane island just kind of out there by itself. That's crazy. Oh, well, we're getting distracted. <laughs> we'll come back to that. But what I want to do is I want to have a circular platform at the bottom. I'm going to have four arching type shapes coming out. And at the top of them, they're going to have really huge hooks. And on, on those hooks will be resting another circular object, like another ring. And I want the ring to encompass this tree... I want it to be far enough away from the tree that it doesn't look like it's too close to it. Like, I don't want it to look like it's hindering the tree. 
And I don't see any leaves decaying, so that's good. Uh-oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. There's one right there. Might as well come up here and go ahead and collect. Collect as many saplings as we can, because we don't want to waste these. And if I ended up getting a couple of them, we could go ahead and just take those back to K's. Get ourselves an axe here. You better axe somebody. And what I'm doing is... I'm not defacing the tree, I promise. We're not destroying. We're building. Oh, good. I didn't want that to get lost. So what I want to do is I want to find the center point of the tree, the X and Z coordinate. And what I should have done is I should have written it down where I put the sapling, but I didn't really think about that. So we're going to hit F3, and I need to find something to write with. There we go. So our X... Our X is 1558, and our Z is 1591. Need to write that on this other side. X is 1558, Z is 1591. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fly around the tree, and we're going to look at the extreme edges of it. Let's see, H. H for hover, hovering piggy, flying in the sky. Right here. Is that it? Yep, okay. So in this direction, that is the leaf that, that comes out. Let's see, which way are we moving? In Z coordinate. And I'll stand right on it. So there we go. So 1573. Is the Z for that direction. And this is going to be kind of the boring slow bit trying to figure out all these numbers but this is kind of necessary when you start off you want to get you know you want to figure out where everything's going to go and lay it out because the worst thing that can happen is you don't do this kind of prep work you just go with it and then halfway through a build you're like you know what would have been nice if i could have moved everything three blocks to the left i wish i would have known that so that's why we're doing this so let's see, this block is 1608. 1608 in Z. And now we'll go ahead and check the other coordinate. What is it, the X? Yeah, we'll check the, the extreme X's. Well, here's what's crazy. Checking those two directions, we have a tree at its extreme that is 35 by 35. That's pretty cool. I never realized that they made the uh, tree uh, not really symmetrical, but even. I guess even would be the right word. So, let's go ahead and fly back up here. Oh no, oh no. Did I just run out of fuel? I don't know if I did or not. Come on, get... We do not need to drown here of all places. Oh, wow. Wow. I think I did run out of fuel. I hit H. Yeah, and the little gauge on the side is showing empty. So let's go ahead and stand right here. Oh, nice. Okay, so I do have one thing of Essentia with me. So let's go ahead and we'll click that. We'll swap bottles. And thanks to Mr. Theo the Ape, we will be able to fly back up. Nope. H. There we go. Where's Loy when you need him? <laughs> so we'll come back up here. Oop, let's go ahead and turn that off so we don't waste that. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the coordinates for now because those, they do get a little annoying having to look at after a while. We'll pop this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and just rebuild the tree that I griefed. The tree that Piggy griefed. How do I? Oh, okay. That was lag. I'm like, how do I have more logs when I just used them all up? <gasps> and almost jumped off. Okay, so 35 by 35 is the closest that we could build a circle to the tree. And I need to go back to the house and get myself a bed and bring it out here. Just so we don't have to... Whoop. Whew. That would not have been fun falling down there. Um, just so we don't have to keep dealing with it being night constantly. 
So, Piggy's basement. The basement that Piggy built. That's cool and crazy. <laughs> you can see under the house. Oh, man. Okay, so... And you know what? I'm not gonna... Okay. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna waste time on stream looking for a bunch of wool. We're just gonna snag this bed and take it out there with us. And check it out. I'm live streaming from Beam. Right next to a beam. A but um ching Yeah. So, and here's the other cool thing that I did. Oh, gosh, no, don't fall. Okay. So, now I don't know if the screen's going to go black. It might go black for a second. I'm going to swap over here. Because what I've done is I have opened up a web page called Plots. P-L-O-T-Z dot C-O dot U-K. And what it does is it uh, it gives you different shapes. You can put parameters in it, like how big you want those shapes to be. And it draws on screen for you the uh, as if you were using a voxel-based builder, such as Minecraft, a bunch of squares and how to make a shape out of it. And I like to use it a lot when I'm trying to do circles and spheres and stuff like that. But what we do need to do is first figure out how far away from the tree do we want to be. Because a, a circle of 35 would give our extreme edge of the circle right here by this side of the tree. And as it arced, it, it, it would actually arc into the tree. And we do not want that. So let's make sure once again that we're on the extreme edge. Hit H so we don't waste our fuel. 1573 is right there. Okay, that's good. <gasps> and another sapling. We must collect the saplings. We can't let them... There you go. Thank you, sir. Oh, and now we've got two, so we can take those back to K's. So I'm going to drop down here, and let's see. Let's see what the edge of a circle would look like. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 10 away, and hang on one second, I'm going to swap back over to beam chat, there we go, so that would be an edge of 10, and to me that seems kind of close, so I'm going to go 10 more, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so this would be a circle that would have, so what would be 35 there, 20 on this side, 20 on that side. So this will make a circle that's 55 blocks wide. So let's fly up and let's see what that looks like from the side. Because the thing you have to remember is the tree is so big, you have to build proportional to it. Or the thing that you build, like if you built some structure normally, it might look really great. But if you stick it next to such a huge tree... It might look small. It might look out of place. So imagine a circle with the edge right there and an edge over there around the tree. About that level, actually. Right about middle of the tree. I think that would be about the smallest I would want the circle. Like the inner part of the circle. Okay, so we're going to go two, three, four, five. And then two, three, four, five. Well, this lag is getting me a little. Three, four, five. There we go. And turn that off. So that should be 11 across right there. And then, and like I said, this is going to be a little bit more of a, a, a boring episode because we're doing a lot of the, the layout work. Like just the setting up of stuff. The outlines and the... Um, what am I looking for? I guess the outline. Like if you were going to write a, an essay or something, you know how you would work on an outline first? Just the bullet points of what you were trying to get to? And so with this, what I'm doing is I'm working on the sketch or the edges of where I'm going to want all of this to go. So three, three, two, one, two. One, two... One, and then two. Now, another cool thing that uh, that y'all are getting to experience 
Now, I don't know how cool it is. <laughs> uh, because usually I don't film this kind of stuff for good reason, because it's very slow and boring. But this is actually what I look like when I'm not recording, when I'm working on an episode, and I'm off camera just trying to work out all the stuff before I film. Yeah, this is probably one of the only reasons I'm taking a chance at building something a little crazy like this. Because with Thomcraft, you can have stuff that'll let you fly. With Mistcraft, you have linking books. And I don't know about you, but that is not looking like it is 20 away like it should be. Let's go ahead and fly up really high and see. Hmm... Did Piggy mess something up? Is it 35? Plus, yes, he did. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hop down here. I'm going to look in chat. And I'm going to see if anybody can figure out where I have messed up. Because I have seriously messed up. Like to the point that we're going to be rechecking plots and we're going to be tearing dirt. The tree's so big, you'll need a linking book from one side of the tree to the other. <laughs> I don't know about the tree, but I can. I had actually thought about the tree farm making the central point a bunch of books, and you could link those books to where each area in the farm was for all the different kind of trees. But the only problem is that you have to link over to Umbra, and so it would end up taking up a whole bunch of those spots to try and link everything. And that, that I just, you know, I was like, no, I can't take up that much space. We're not going to do that. So you are going to have to travel a bit. I may do some kind of a rail system or something or just make people, you know, walk around and maybe make the paths and stuff nice or interesting, something like that. But here's what I did wrong. I'm going to fly up and I'll show you. So I counted from that edge 20 blocks out. And I said the tree was 35, so that's 55. But what I forgot was it goes 20 blocks in that direction as well. So it's actually not 55. We're looking at a circle that would be 75. There we go. Now let's fly up and see what this looks like. And that is looking a whole lot better. See that? That looks so much more centered on the tree. That's that ringlet. And that is kind of cool how the world just like cuts off in a, a spherical shape. Almost like I'm above, I'm above the world. I'm king of the world. <laughs> so let's go ahead and drop down. And turning off hover makes you drop fast. There you go. And then down here at the level with the tree is going to be another circle platform. And that's what you're going to stand on. Extending out from this side and arcing up this way to right here is where that's going to be. And what I'm going to have to do is, and I'll probably do this off camera just to do the maths and stuff. Um, sometimes what I like to do is count how many blocks I'm working with. So I would take where I'm standing right here. Oop. Which is what the Y coordinate. So that's block 127. And let's go ahead and come over here. And we're going to go ahead and call the base of this tree the spot you would be standing, which is at 99. So from here to up there is 28 blocks. So I would take some graph paper, and I would count 28 blocks, and then I would draw an arc shape on it, like a, uh, a, a segment from a circle. And then I would color in the graph paper using uh, shapes that would equal either a square or stairs and that kind of gives me a basic template or an idea of what blocks I need to use and where I need to place them to get the arc shape that I need. Now what I'm going to try here that's going to be a little bit more ambitious because it's an ambitious overly ambitious tree farm so we have to do things that are overly ambitious. So the overly ambitious thing I'm going to do is I'm used to doing one dimensional arcs so what that would mean is like like this circle right here, this is one dimensional. It's just one block wide, a simple shape. But imagine if this circular shape also had coming off of it vertically an arc 
like that. So that would be a three-dimensional arc, maybe like a claw. Imagine that kind of shape, or conical shape, like a piece of a cone. Okay. So that's kind of what I want these crown-looking pieces to look like that are going to come out of here. And that is going to take a little bit of experimenting and working with to figure out. Because I am not good at working with three-dimensional voxel-shaped objects. Like this tree, yeah, there's no way I would ever be able to just kind of make that tree without destroying a lot of stuff and tearing it back down. I'm not good at that. There are some people that are. I've seen some people make some crazy looking statues just out of blocks. I'm going to go ahead and swap over to camera mode here just so I can see you in your face. Right in your face. Let's, let's, that's not working. Let's do this. Oh, I'm flying. I am wasting fuel. We'll do that. That's going to force this. <laughs> just like that. So, thank you all so much for watching. Like I said, I apologize for being a little more low-key than normal. Not as adventurous as usual. But we're going to knock this stuff out. We're going to knock out that rent. We're going to get all this boring stuff figured out so that we can get on to the cool bits. We still have to go adventuring and look for a bunch of saplings. Because there's a whole bunch of saplings. I think there's some saplings even in... Uh, Twilight Forest, and I've never even played in Twilight Forest. So we'll have to go adventuring in there as well just to get some of those trees. And hopefully those trees will grow here in the overworld. I have no idea if they grow here or only in Twilight Forest. We'll figure all those things out. But for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll check you later in the next episode of Live from Magicraft.